PWM is a technique used everywhere with electronics to vary the power supply to devices and components such as LEDs and motors. In this video, we will take a detailed look how the 555 timer PWM generator circuits works, how to use it for controlling the speed of DC motors and how to make a custom PCB for it. So let's get started. First of all, let's talk about the 555 timer IC. A popular version is the NE555. It must be one of the most useful ICs ever made and it is used in many projects. With just a few external components, it can be used to build many circuits. In these projects, the 555 timer IC must work in a stable mode to produce a square wave with time high and time low. The typical stable arrangement has a resistor R1 from VCC to pin 7 and R2 from pin 7 to pin 6 and 2 connected to a capacitor to ground. Don't forget to connect pin 4 to 8 to plus VCC and finally pin 1 to ground. The output is high when the capacitor is charging through the two resistors R1 and R2. It can be calculated by this formula. The output in pin 3 of the IC is low when the capacitor is discharging by only through the resistor R2. So the time the square low can be calculated by this formula. So we can get different on and off times by changing the values of any of these three components. I replace R2 resistor with a potentiometer and additionally add two diodes in the circuits. So the potentiometer allows you to vary the width of the pulse and the capacitor allows you to choose and fix the frequency. Connect a transistor to pin 3 if you want to control big load. In this project, I use BD139 NPN transistor. You need to use a flyback diode which is connected in parallel with the motor to protect the transistor. In this side, I have the input connectors and the outputs on the other side. Be careful of the polarity. We have positive and negative. I solder an indicator LED and 330 ohms current limiting resistor in parallel with plus VCC and ground. I solder everything in place. And here is the final appearance. I connect a DC motor and 9 volt power supply. Using the potentiometer, we are able to control the PWM signal produced by the 555 timer IC and the speed of the C motor. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.